What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today I'm going to walk you through what you need to know before you buy a Harbor Freight trailer, specifically in my case, to haul my kayak. So here is my Harbor Freight trailer. I've been pulling this thing for about like two years. My Predator PDL. It's a great big kayak. It's pretty heavy and it pulls it well. But there are some things about this setup, about this trailer specifically, that I wish I'd known before I bought it. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so the first thing is that on these Harbor Freight trailers, uh, they're a really cheap trailer, and there's a reason that they're really cheap. So they, they get all their materials. The way I understand it is everything comes from overseas. It's all foreign-made stuff, and it's, it's super cheap-made stuff. I believe it's made in China. I'm not 100% sure on that, but the bearings in here, you can't find the bearings anywhere. And I wish I would have known this. I haul my kayak around to a lot of places and I, I put a lot of miles on my trailer. And so I was trying to find some replacement bearings or replacement, um, like just a, a whole kit for the, uh, for the hub. And I couldn't find one anywhere. I, I never had a bearing go out. I pack my bearings regularly, but um, I just had issues trying to figure out, trying to find a, a replacement bearing. So if your bearing goes bad, you're pretty much screwed. I, I couldn't find a, a, a replacement bearing anywhere. Like you can't just go to the auto parts store and buy a standard bearing. It, it's all It's all weird. So that's one thing to think about. If you're gonna get one of these trailers, make sure you pack your bearings regularly because you do not want one to go out. You're gonna be screwed. Okay, so the next thing, look at this piece of crap axle. Man, this thing is such a piece of junk. Look at this thing. It's like, it's so crappy. What a piece of crap. So I backed my boat down a ramp and hit a rock or something back my trailer down a, down a ramp a boat ramp and hit something fell off the back of the ramp or something and look at this axle it's just so cheap so cheaply made there's like i say there's a reason why these trailers are so cheap and that axle is a piece of junk like i hit a rock and it's not like it had a lot of weight bearing to it and it just destroyed this axle so i got to look it online and i found this replacement axle, I just put it on, but look how much better made that is. So you can find these, I'll put a link in the description, but I bought it on eBay from R&P Carriages. They're a, uh, a small business out of, I believe it was Illinois, but they make a replacement for axle for this trailer. And you can see how much better made that is. Look how, look how much sturdier that axle is. Just way better made. Um, better made parts and it's not like you're gonna bend that thing out if you hit something with it so now that i replaced the axle on that thing um i i would say that the 200 dollars spent really if you think about it these trailers are really inexpensive but you if you if you buy this replacement axle for 200 bucks it's a it's a small price to pay if you're if you're using this trailer a lot to make it more reliable and now i can this axle comes with different dimensions and you can just go get a go get a bearing or a hub kit for fairly inexpensive and it's and it's easy to find they'll be at any hardware store any auto parts store anything like that and now i can carry a replacement axle obviously or a replacement hub and bearing kit so i would say you know, it's it, it's still a good trailer. I would still recommend it. But if you're going to buy this trailer, I would really recommend that you go ahead and upgrade to the better axle, which I'll link down below. It's an extra 200 bucks. But if you think about it, as cheap as these trailers are, spending an extra 200 bucks on, on an axle that's going to last you, as well as being able to replace hubs and bearings and things like that, you're still getting into this. You're still getting into this trailer for a lot cheaper than you can get into any trailer that's comparable. But I would recommend go ahead and upgrade that, go ahead and upgrade that axle. And then you can carry an extra bearing. Things like that are always a good thing to have, especially if you're hauling your kayak around like I am. 
So, guys, that's my two cents on it. Hope you guys enjoy the video.